Hello my gorgeous little angels, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Antonia. If you'd like to come part of our magical online family, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below. Because today we'll be doing an unboxing of the Cauldron Crate. I think this is the like Order of a Phoenix box. Might be wrong, not 100%, never am. But if you'd like to see what's inside, then make sure you carry on watching. <laughs> First of all, I just wanted to show you the packaging because um, it is a little bit battered, kind of all over, and I can feel it. It feels like it's being hit from the top, so I'm a little bit worried when we get into it, but we'll get into it and see what it's like. So, unfortunately, I was right, it does look like it's had a good sort of whack up here, so hopefully, not on damaged. If you can see, it's like flattened, hopefully, it's okay. I can see my name's written on it in the corner, um, but yeah. We'll have a go. So let's unbox it. Let's pray to the gods that it's okay. So, yeah, this is the chest. Oh no, a lad. It's the Half Blood Prince. My God. Um, yeah, I, I was fully off there. But yeah, we've got the Half Blood Prince. I'm going to put that down because I'm imagining it's spoilers. So we have the red tissue paper. And then, oh, okay. We've got all the goodies inside. I don't even know where to start. Should we go for this on top? Oh, it's heavy. Right, let's pick it up and give it a go. So it says, Dearest Dumbledore, I do hope that this is still your favourite tipple. Merry Christmas, my old friend, Horace. So obviously this must be, I really like the packaging. Um, the poison bottle of mead, is it? Is that what it says mead now? Have I got to open it? I didn't want to ruin the packaging. I feel like I'm going to have to. There's only little fit. <laughs> so I have to let that go. Thank God. They, they've like properly wrapped it all. So we shouldn't have any leakage, I don't think. don't know what that's just pulled off the top of that. It, it is Madame Ro Rose Mater's finest oak matured mead from the three broomsticks. That's lovely. Is it one of them? Not like... No, it doesn't shake and shimmy. <laughs> so, and they'll like do different things, but it's really lovely. I love the wax seal on it. It's a lovely bottle. And then, obviously, we've got all this twine and then the little cork on top. So, obviously, you don't open it. It's all sealed, so you don't open it. Um, but, yeah, that's lovely. Big fan of that. And then, let's go. I'm going to go for this because this looks like... No, it looks actually all right. Okay. Now, I personally won't use this. I don't really drink um, tea or coffee. Quite basic. I'm not really into hot drinks. Even, like, I will have a hot chocolate. But I prefer water. I'm quite basic when it comes to drinking. But this is from Fable Ground Coffee. It's Aron... I can't say wait. Amortensia. I think that's how you say it, The love potion. It's chocolate raspberry flavoured coffee, which can I can imagine, sorry, is lovely. Comes in a nice little packaging. But, yeah, I don't... I have coffee so the place is on me. And I went geeky is on them as well. I never um, tried any of them. I think they're on tea. A lot of tea ones. Um and then I don't think what's next. I'm gonna go for this next. I think it's a candle. Feels like it'll be a candle. It is a candle. So it's lucky pumpkin juice, pumpkin spice scented, 100 percent soy wax candle. With a hint of luck. Oh, that's cute. It's got a little bit of hint of look there. It's got a really cute little label. So a cold and crease on top, just in case you forget. The inside's beautiful. That's one of my favourite inside of the candles. That is gorgeous. I love the pumpkin. It actually smells better than what I thought because I don't really like <laughs> nothing that I don't like. I don't really like pumpkin. I hate it even when you're carving them. I hate the smell. Like I've never ate pumpkin, drank pumpkin juice and anything like that can't imagine it be something i'm a fan of i'm not gonna knock it till i try it but yeah i don't like it i hate the inside of pumpkins <laughs> but actually smells lovely it smells like a um more sweet than i was thinking like it smells like i don't know but it doesn't smell like pumpkin but it's lovely i love the inside of it that's lovely um we still have some more. I'm gonna pick up this, whatever this is. It looks like little edibles. But I'm not gonna eat them in case they're like bath bombs or something and I end up dying when work tonight, so we can't afford that. <laughs> um okay. What's this string attached to? 
Nothing. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for this because this looks like a couple of wiggly bits trying to get away. So I actually think I only got the basic box. I think you could get two, but I missed out on the bigger box, which I was a bit gutted about, but I was happy to get a box. <laughs> um, so they have a couple of stickers. So it says, make love, not hawk. Is it hawk crux or hawk crux? No. A hawk crux. Can't say it properly, but you know what I'm saying. It's written there. But, um, oh, this one's cute. It's like Harry. But it's in sort of like a little anime form, which is really cute. I like that. We have a <laughs> Severus Snape, very bold. We have the Locket, Slytherin Locket. We have Harry Potter. And then we have Dumbledore. And it's got Harry Potter and the half Blood Prince. Oh, I haven't changed, right, wait. Cause speaking of which, it's the same as that. But, with July, so happy July. First of July today, let me flip that over. So this is our new one, so we've got Goblet of Fire, so it's completely off theme of the book, but you know, it's there. But um, yeah, happy July, and today will be our 90th, 90th video upload, so there we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's a couple of things today, so yeah, happy July, hopefully this month will go better. How fast is the year gone? But I feel like I say that every year and it just gets faster and faster, so yeah we have more to look forward to <laughs> um and obviously things start reopening on saturday which i'm a bit nervous about not gonna lie um because my cousin the wild thing wants to go to town i'm like oh i'm gonna die <laughs> but yeah let's get this one so it's a little cute little pink little bag and something silver sticking out of it see it looks like a bookmark it is a bookmark it's actually the cutest bookmark i think i've ever seen it's a really miniature bookmark like it's really small and it's got the love potion hanging off it, which is really cute. It's really heavy. That's actually really pretty. I'm a big fan. Really small though. Normally they go a bit like longer in the page, but it's got all little pink beads in. I love the fact it's labelled it. I don't think I would have liked it as much. It sounds so stupid, but if it didn't have the label on. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan. Right, there's a pin and I keep avoiding it, so I'm going to pick it up and have a look at it. Right, what is it? Oh, it's the, I can't speak today, right, Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, I think that's how you say it, um, it's the one where Harry uses in the train and tries to like spy on Draco, it doesn't work out well for him, but it's that, so it says, look, Instant Darkness Powder, we're importing it from Peru, handy if you want to make a quick escape, so it's obviously Harry gets it from um, the Wizard Weasley's shop. From Fred and George, it's really cute. I like the fact it's got the little label on it again. I'm a big fan of labels, which I never realised till this video. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go. For, there's still a couple of other things, but I'm just gonna go for this little banner. Ah, okay. I think this string is supposed to be on the banner. Can we refix it? The holes look too small. Wait, right, let's just. We can refix it. So the strings did have a purpose. They just weren't attached. <laughs> so it is a Gryffindor banner, which is obviously cute because I'm a Gryffindor. So let me just there we go. Right, we've refixed it. So there's this cute little banner. I feel like a lot of it's very small base, which I am a fan of because obviously a lot going on. If I did want to hang it up, I'd need it to be a bit smaller um, rather than large. I think the best thing to come in small packages. I'm quite a short little person myself. Um, but I think it's cute, like the fact says bravery. Lion looks a little bit aggressive, but he's brave, so <laughs> it's very cute. It could be like a little pin banner, but obviously I do my pins and like my boards, so I never really actually use the pin banners. Apart from one, I used the one I got from Literally Creep, but that's because the pins are sort of made for the banner, so but yeah, it's kind of cute. I'm never really a fan of anything like that, anything hanging, just because I don't really, even though I know I've got my full wall, because now I've got my full wall, I haven't got any room for anything else. I don't even want to change it, but i'm not mad about it right so we've got two little packages one with the wiggly worm sticking can you not two little packages and we've still got some more things so the box is still quite full i can't remember how much i paid Do, no it's not too much though i'm gonna go for this one first just because i feel like the other one feels a little bit um heavier okay 
Now I like this. This is the type of unusual things that I love in boxes. The things that you can't just go and buy. Which a lot of it is, is to be fair. I haven't really seen it anywhere else. I love that. I love it. Little one one. So cute. So it's obviously for Ron and Lavender. I love that. I really love that. That's my favourite item so far. I know that 100%. Um, and then we'll go for this one. Get this open. Okay, this looks like another... Okay, it's like another little potion bottle. So it is... Okay, okay, they are edibles. So these are Puking Pastels, the Skiving Snackbox Collection. So I love the packaging. So that's what they are inside. So where is it? And I'll try one. I'll make sure I just want to make sure they were edible, but I like the fact they've even like properly sealed them. Love the fact they've put three in and then giving you three so you can give them a go. Should we see what they're like? Let's see. Let's get these on open. Wait. Should I still check to make sure they can't, they've got to be edible, haven't they? Very hard. <laughs> I feel like this is going to take a lot longer to eat them than I thought. Yeah, they're hot. Like, they're like... I've lost a tooth. <laughs> oh my god. Nice though. I need to... These are too hard for my teeth. I don't want to bite again because I just feel like I'm going to lose teeth. Like, we've got them going. I'm so glad that I let you stop me finishing eating that because that just took like a solid two minutes to finish eating. And it's one of them that sticks in your teeth. It does taste nice though. Don't think I'd personally buy them. No. No. <laughs> but they taste nice. So they're not terrible. They're just a bit of a struggle to eat. But I'm going to move on to the last couple of things in the box. We've got two, three. So we've got one with my name on. Which is cute. We've got... A brown one which says cold and crete and then we have a hermione grange one so i'm going to open this one because this one's already open and we'll just work through so miss hermione granger the borough ottilie saint catchpole devon I hope i said that right it says confidential it's from the ministry of magic oh so it's a grade which i love because i love hermione and i have ron's grades somewhere do i have them on this wall i forgot them on a box i have got ron's grades somewhere from the literary crate so ordinary wizarding level examination results. So she got outstanding on them all, except Defence Against the Dark Heart, she got exceeds expectations. So I can't say she didn't do well there. I like the wax seal, love wax seals, you know. I haven't actually got one, I need to get one, but I just don't write letters, so it probably wouldn't really be any use for me but i do love them i think they're really cute but yeah that's a lovely little touch i really like the envelope as well so we'll keep them together so that was from professor i want to say professor marchbanks I'm not trying to try and say your first name because we're not here for it and i'm butchers enough things to say so not need to butcher anything else so i'm gonna do the brown envelope next there's like a sun in it it says bonus items. Okay, honey. Oh, as an apology for the delay and to spread a little happiness in these dark times, I have included these two extra. Wait, <laughs> couldn't even say the proper sentence. These, wait, included these extra two items in this chest themed after the Harbour Prince himself. Enjoy. Oh, so yeah, these are beautiful. Really beautiful. So the two postcards. So. You dare use my own spells against me, Potter. It was I who invented them. I, the Half-Blood Prince, so. Or was it? No, it ends at them. And it's the Half-Blood Prince, is that right? I don't know. Really pretty, but I love this one. It's so dark, and it's like he's writing, and it's got like a little green around him, as you can see. But that is beautiful. And he's writing in the heart, he's writing in the advanced potion making book. That's lovely. That's my favourite by Miles. That's lovely. Um, and then the final one, which by the way, thank you very much for adding them. Obviously, didn't need to, and that's really lovely for you to do that. We have, oh, okay, the seal does move, so it's a little S. 
so okay i think this is an invitation to the slug club so this is lovely antonia in light oh my god it's so reflective that like for me to read it it's like it's difficult on the eyes right give us a sec right in light of your promising achievement, I am extending you an invitation to join my select group of students known as the Slug Club. I would be delighted if you would join me for a bite of lunch in my carriage. This is truly exclusive opportunity and I do hope to see you there. Sincerely, Professor H.E.F. Slughorn. That is so cute. I love the personalisation. I loved everything in gold. Like, look at that reflection. Like, it's not playing games. Like, that's actually difficult to read. <laughs> That is lovely. So, that is every item we got in the box. So, God, there's a loot. Do you know what? Honestly, for the price, it's insane. You get so many items. Like, that's 11. And I think that's without the extras, because I don't think she's included the extras on here. So, you got 13 items. And I swear, I think the... Ma right, the maximum I think the box is is 35. I think I'm being dramatic. I'm sure it's in the 20s, but I'm not sure. That might be dramatic, because the things in here just add up to well more than that. So, I'm going to say 30. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, don't hate me. <laughs> so, my products are always vegan and cruelty free. I am I aim to use as little plastic in my packaging as possible. When I do use plastic, it is biodegradable. Oh my god, why do I struggle with these things? All products are exclusive handmade and designed by Leanne at Cold and Create, unless otherwise stated, which is lovely. So, okay, thank the Lord. Okay, so it's. <laughs> I thought that the sweets were gonna say soap because it's seeing soap and I thought, oh, please, for the love of God. <laughs> That's probably why I broke my teeth. So the potion bottle of the mead is liquid soap. Um, we have the Our Results replica. I'm not gonna read all the things because it's got quite a lot of text and you know me and my struggles, we'll be here all day. So the soap was handmade by Cold and Crate and it was $14.99. The Our Results replica is $5.99 handmade by Cold and Crate. If it's not handmade, there's one thing I think that isn't to our I'll state that when we get there. Uh, we have book six sticker set which is $1.99. Personalized Slughorn Invitation which is $9.99. Puking Pascals replica pas wait puking pa pastels pistols pastels Re replica I'm struggling um $9.99 House pin banner, so it is a pin banner, it's £12.99. Love potion coffee, £3.50. That, that is a vendor collaboration with the Fable Ground Coffee. So that's the only one that's got like a collaboration with. We have the Peruvian pin, which uh, was £7.99. A mini potion bookmark, which is £6.99. A lucky pumpkin juice candle, which is £6.99. Ron and Lavender coaster ornament, which is £7.99. And then we obviously have the extras, which I have here, which is a Snape quote postcard and the Snape R postcard. So, yeah, they're designed by... Oh... As um, as Ura Art maybe could be not, and the one with Snape's on his own is by Elena Lou. I think I said that one a bit better. I hope that I didn't butcher it. But yeah, that's all the items. I have to say this is a really strong box. Like you get a lot, a lot. Like literally, how many thirteen items? Like that's insane. So absolutely amazing. Please let me know what your favorite item was down below. Whether you got this box definitely go and check out other people who, who got the there was like a top tier box and i just missed out but so i think it got an extra couple of items in that so again insane that you get this much and you can get extra again so absolutely unbelievable please let me know what your favorite item was as i said please subscribe comment like do all that lovely things and hopefully i'll see you in the next video but for now bye <laughs>